Good overview as well. I just went in the um, mega score today. Rodeo Code 2007 is going to love these. Check that out. Lettuce and gears for anti Sangamos. That's a top HAT Rodeo meter. That's a 1940. And he even gave me some smart meters. These are the um, lettuce and gear. E E350 is being rolled out across Victoria at, at, the, at the moment. These, are actually, these actual units alone are $20, $20 each from China. And yeah, these have, there's a manufacture date, 2011. And that was manufactured in 2011. And already dodgy. Other than those pieces of crap, I do a tear down in one of these. Very light and cheap and nasty stuff. Alright. It's a smart man, is that another way? The now interesting stuff. There's a Warburton Frankie there. That's a WF Model 70 Demand Air Meter. Very interesting. That's a, what else have we got? We've got a WF Energy Controls. Modern uh, time switch there. The battery's still fully charged. And WF Warburton Frankie are still going strong today. An AZ, not a BAZ. This is a well, let's see, it's a 2 times 230 volts. So 460 volt polyphase MK AZ. And it's not baker light, it looks like it, but it's actually a metal cased MK BAZ. This is, oh, I think this is from the 1930s. Got another time switch there, I think that's a. looks like a Landis and Gear. This looks like one of the ones that Arco 2007 has. It's a LG. Oh, it's a Landis and Gear. 2 times 230, 460 volts, so it's a polyphase. 750 revolutions per kilowatt hour. Meter number 39, so it's from 1939, I think that one. Could be wrong. This one here is a. Electricity manu Meter Manufacturing Co. Limited, Sydney. So it's an MCO. A very, very, very early MCO prior to these, this shape, prior to that one, and prior to that one, to modern email. So it's a very, very early MCO meter, back when they first um, were established. That one now, I'm not sure. It's a time switch. I think that might be a Lannis and Gear. They're all completely intact. That terminal cover, I think, goes for that. This one here, I'm not too sure. Let's look at these meters. I think one of these is a... Uh, no, it's a dual rate. Oh, I've got some dual, dual rate meters there. I've got a dual rate lettuce and gear. It's got the uh, horizontal numbers that move that way. So mechanically, it's the same as one of them ones. With a dial point, it's actually use number wheels that move horizontally. It's a dual rate there. Hopefully that one there has got the terminal cover somewhere. That's a made in Switzerland, it's a Landis and Gear. Two phase three wire meter. This is a produced in Australia with um, Landis and Gear uh, Swedish components. The State Electricity Commission of Victoria, so I think that one there is a. Yeah, 1992 it was tested, so it might be from the 80s. And dual rate. It's a three phase, four wire, whole current meter. I think it's a whole current, I'm not sure. Uh, 10 to 16 a pair. Uh, I think it might actually be a current current transformer meter. Then again, it has got pretty big chunky coils there, so it might be a whole current, hopefully. Because those things are useless without the um, current transformers. Underneath that, we've got a. Oh, what's this one? Oh, look at that! Brilliant! A WF3S! I've oh, been after one of these for ages! That's a Australian made British Sangamo HMT. With cheap and nasty dial, uh, dial pointers. Tested 1987. There you go. 
It's a 15 to 100 amp pair, 2 wire, 240 volt, 50 hertz, one phase, 266 and 2 thirds revs per kilowatt hour. There you go, the uh, HMT from my collection. Brilliant. What else has we got here? It looks like we've got another lantern sink here. Oh, very heavy. That's a horizontal um, you can see the motors there. There you go, you got motors. These are the um, horizontal uh, harder to find ones. They're actually, they're actually drums like that that turn. Not discs, but drums that roll like that. That's some rare stuff to draw rate. Right? 30 times 240 volt. 3 times 200 slash 5, tip of 5 to 10 amps. So it's a current transformer meter, so I don't got a current transformer for this unfortunately, so I can't run it. Um, produced in Australia. Type YL5D. Uh, probably be from the, uh, that's the old Lannis and Gear logo, so it could be from the 60s or even 50s. So that's a current transformer meter. I can't use that because I haven't got the current transformers that match it. That's unfortunate. What's this one? A Siemens for polyphase system unbalanced. Type D12, 3 times 230, 400 volt, 20 amp, 120 revolutions per kilowatt hour. Property of the State Electricity Commission of Victoria. That's a very nice and made unit. One of these ones. I want to set those back up. Oh, that's a heavy one. What's that one? That's a Siemens Shocker Twerk AG made in Germany. Very nice dual rate meter there. Very, very heavy. So it's a very, very well made unit. Unfortunately, the terminal cover's missing. Uh, I don't know what a year it will be. So probably at least the 50s, or even the 1940s. It's a oh, very well made one. Just barely carry that one in. This one here's got a broken glass, unfortunately. This is, uh, I think it's a lettuce and gear. C and H. Chamberlain and Hookham. 2 times 10 amp pair, so it's a polyphase, 2 times 230, 460 volts. 50 cycles, 1 amp, uh, what's that? 1 amp? Hang on. Oh, 1 phase, I read it wrong. V wire. 375 revolutions per kilowatt hour. And the metals are a bit bent, so it's going to have to be a restoration project. Mechanically, it's okay though. Yep, so Chamberlain and Hookham, talk about the brake magnets. English made, so I'm going to have to make a glass somehow for that. Cut one up and restore that one. Yes, and here's a... Ugh. Oh, it's like a time switch. Cast on, uh, cast aluminium time switch. This is a Sangamay Western, Enfield, England. Model B time switch. 230 volt, one pole. 50 cycles, one throw, 20 amps, 200 to 250 motor volts. Patent number 404,688. Property of the State Electricity Commission of Victoria. Very, very nice stuff. So all this, all this stuff's going straight to the scrapyard in favour of those pieces of junk. So those units only cost $20 each from China and the power company is buying by the thousands. And yeah, not, not all of them are um, alive either, and most of them are dead on arrival. And what's this one? This is a... Hard to read. Sist FR, Salta. Let's get the latest manufacturing works. BASLE, Switzerland. 230 volts, 50 cycles, 25 amps. Supplied by Siemens Australia. So it's a Siemens time switch. 
There you go. That's probably one of the um, only ones I can't use because these are uh, current transformers. But I got one of the main ones I wanted, the W. Uh, Robert and Frankie meter. Okay, you as well. One more thing. Even quite enough to give me this um, very, very, very heavy duty plastic container. So, that's very nice of them to do that. Then it's all up here. 